All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome to the Rolling Sun demo. And it is on Steam. I believe it just came out today. And the basis of the game is that uh, you roll a ball through a level, and uh, there's various obstacles, and you can gain various skills uh, throughout the game to help you um, in these levels. So apparently, it is like a next-gen version of Marble Madness. And if you guys don't know what Marble Madness is, uh, you should check it out. Um, it's a very, very old Nintendo game where you would roll a ball through levels. But uh, first and foremost, let's check out the settings. And uh, all it is is basically just graphic settings. And the game starts on, uh, I think, 720p. So you're going to want to up that uh, should your computer be able to handle uh, greater than 720p, which is more than likely. And uh, there's a full screen or uh, probably a windowed option as well. Um, nope, it's just either full screen or not. And uh, the quality is either low, medium, or high. Uh, it's automatically set to high. And so we'll just resume. And I'm going to play like one level, maybe two. So it's going to be a real quick demo. And so I'm just going to show you a little bit of the game. And then I will leave the rest of the levels up to you guys. Uh, because there's like four or five of them, I believe. So let's check this out and see how we play this. And I have no idea the controls. Uh, this is a totally blind play. Um, and it didn't tell me the controls. That there was no options uh, for controls either. So here we go. Okay, so pretty good graphics. Um, so it, it, I think it takes a GTX... Um, I think a 500 series or greater. Okay, so W, A, S, and D, uh, roll your ball. Uh, apparently, space uh, jumps your ball. And I don't know how to turn the camera or anything like that. But we're just gonna go. And uh, so, yeah, pretty good, pretty good graphics so far. Uh, not that bad. And I'm not sure what collecting those uh, does. Again, because there isn't too much of a description of the game. I guess I'm going to have to uh, roll across that. Aha! And I've got it. And I'm assuming you probably have to collect each one of those, maybe, to finish the level. Oh, there's one of those things down here, so let's go ahead and grab that. Before we continue on, again, I have uh, no idea what they do. Um, but there is going to be various skills throughout the game as well, like uh, like speed bursts and double jump and things like that. Okay, so I'm over the wall now, and I think I can just fall down. Yeah, indeed. And we collect that. I wonder if I can smash that box or push it off. Yeah, I totally can. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do a run and jump on this one. All right, moving on. So pretty cool territory. It's like a very Az Aztec type uh, type of scenery. And what was that game? What's that game called where they hit it with their uh, that rubber ball with their hips? And uh, it's still actually played to get today in some parts of Mexico and South America. I can't remember what that's called tech something I can't remember but uh, it was really brutal and the, the losers of it would uh, sometimes um, be sacrificed um, and the ball weighed several um, many like several pounds of rubber that you would have to bounce off your hip and it's actually still played today and it's really interesting how they play it um, I implore you to look it up uh, online um, it's really really interesting they'll get a guy up top um, of the court and there's that little tiny that little tiny ball that you have to little tiny hoop that you have to get the ball through oh and I'm talking and I'm probably gonna die no so apparently I lost that but it, it sets you back so that's pretty cool but um, it's really interesting how they play the game you guys should check that out sometime And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about at all, just go and check out Aztec Ball Game. Or maybe it was the Mayans. Either way, I'm not really sure. Or my South American history is uh, a little 
not uh, a little subpar, I suppose. But uh, just collecting these balls. Uh, really, really good graphics, though. Indeed. Oh, I got apparently got a roll here. Oh, and I missed that. I'm not sure what that does if I missed that. Let me go ahead and get it. Uh, maybe there's like an achievement should you get all of them. I'm sure like later on in the game there'll be like hard levels to deal with. And uh... Oh, this is gonna be kind of hard. How am I supposed to do that? Oh no! My ball. I wonder if I can just like roll over that, you think? Oh, I got it. Haha. <laughs> I don't know how I got that. I think that was just pure luck there. So, uh. Next gen marble madness. Oh, crap. <laughs> that uh, face reminds me of that little thing that would follow you around in Crash Bandicoot. Okay, I can see how this game would get uh, quite challenging uh, really quick. It's a little bit awkward. Uh, not in a bad way either, just, uh, I mean, just the whole physics of, of a ball it itself is pretty awkward. So, a uh, pretty cool game. I could see how this would appeal to, um, lots of puzzler players and things like that that would, like, really like a challenge in that sense. Peace out, box. Somebody's going around this South American wilderness and just making wooden boxes and putting them all over the place. Shame on you. Oh, I totally missed that one, and I don't think I can get it now. Uh. Aha! I've got it. Oh. <laughs> Definitely a very challenging uh, platformer. And this is just the first level, too, so I'm sure it gets uh, way more convoluted. Replace me? What does that mean? Uh, that may be a, a broken tooltip or something. I'm not, I'm not really sure what that is. But it is just a demo, so... Oh, and the bridge wobbles on you a little bit. Okay, got past that. And the game is, um, the, the download is only about 800 megabytes, and I'm sure it's a little bit compressed. So I think it only takes um, less than two gigabytes on your drive. So if you're worried about space, I really wouldn't be worried about this game. Um, 800 megabytes uh, these days is really nothing to download uh, from most people. It only took me uh, uh, maybe five minutes or so, uh, if that, maybe maybe just a few to download this, so not a big deal. So if you just happen to be watching this video and checking out the demo, uh, go ahead and download it, you know? You might like it. And there's a lot of levels. This is just the first level, and I think I'm actually going to not play uh, the other levels, uh, considering it's, it's actually kind of long, uh, this level. Um... And I'm sure there could be um, some time trials on this game. I would like to see some uh, speed runs of this game. That would be pretty amazing, right? Uh, like people doing like levels in just a matter of a couple of minutes. Um... Oh, -hoo -hoo, got it. But in uh, and, and getting all the orbs too at the same time, that would be pretty cool. Um... 
I, I love watching speed runs. I've been I've been like obsessed with it lately. You know, like speed runs. You can go to um, oh god, I hate to advertise while I'm doing somebody else's demo, but you 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 can go on uh, speedrunarchives.com. Just Google it, speedrun archives. And there are hundreds and hundreds of games on there where people do speed runs on games you would never even think that you could do a speed run on, like uh, Dragon Warrior and just any game, uh, Star Ocean for PlayStation, Final Fantasy series, like Final Fantasy X and, and stuff. It's just amazing. And they'll, they'll get it done in hours, like Final Fantasy games, when normally it would take you like days and days of play, you know? Really, really interesting stuff, like how they go about it, and they'll they'll get like special weapons that you you didn't even know existed, and um, steal items. Like in certain games, you can just like steal grenades from uh, some of the the enemies in like the Final Fantasy series and use them to uh, move through the game very, very quickly. Just really, really good stuff. Okay, so I don't know. Oh, you juked me. All right, moving along pretty good now. And I'd like to think that there's... Because there's, like, double jumps and things like that in this game. And, uh... Like, I guess you acquire skills over time, from what I was reading. And... I'd like to think that maybe some of the levels... You, you don't have the skill that you need to get some of these blue orbs. And that... You have to get your skills and then go back to that level to be able to obtain them all. That would be pretty interesting. Well, I can just roll right across that. It's kind of hard to tell, like, when you can actually just roll across things, like little small gaps, and when you actually have to jump. pretty cool. I don't think you can change the camera angle yourself. I think it's supposed to be a, um, a static camera angle for whichever direction you're, you, you have to go in. Um, and I don't know why the screen just turned blue. Maybe I got enough of those things to do something cool. Who knows? And I think I may have completed the level. It certainly appears that way. All right, so that was pretty fun, um, and I didn't open up any more levels. I'm not really sure um, how to open up additional levels. Maybe you just have to do the bonus level, but I'm not going to do the bonus level. I'll leave that to you guys, just in case you thought this was a really cool-looking game. Um, that way, I won't spoil the whole thing for you. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this demo. Again, it's on Steam. It's only about 800 megabytes. Downloads in just a few minutes. Go ahead and grab it, and I will see you guys next time.